I'm Rick Randall. I'm the CEO of Omni Life Science, a company based here in, uh, outside of Boston. Omni is the leader in robotic-assisted total knee and total hip replacement surgery. Our need for a uh, customer-centric program to develop uh, and, and, and own the customers, we like to say, came about because we, we know we have a great technology. We know the technology works, but we also know that what we're up against in the orthopedic industry is an industry that's been, re been resistant to change. Uh, orthopedic surgeons have basically been doing the same thing the same way for about 30 years with evolutionary change, no revolutionary change. We need to change that. We, to do that, we need to make our surgeons comfortable throughout the training process, throughout the adoption process, and after the initial adoption process throughout the continued use of, of the technology in a way where we make the, the system or the technology more sticky. Uh, we know from past experience that uh, if we uh, brought 10 surgeons on who are all interested in adopting this new technology, maybe three of the 10 are still using it. Seven of the 10 departed even though we knew the technology delivered better outcomes. That wasn't enough. So now our focus is on putting programs together that enables us to do a better job to make this technology more sticky and it's, a, it's, it's very critical to our success. Our business object objectives are to, uh, to make our uh, delivery of our training programs more efficient and more reproducible uh, and more targeted to the needs or the reasons why surgeons leave the technology. Our second objective is to reach beyond the surgeon. In the past, we focused on the surgeon too much. To reach beyond the surgeon to the other constituents, primarily the surgical team that's in that room that the surgeon relies on to, uh, to make a surgery function. If you don't have them on board, and if they're not fluent and advocates of the technology, it won't stick. So that's the second objective. And the third objective is that after our training team leaves, and the surgeon and the team is on their own with our representative doing cases is to be able to come back and make sure that customer satisfaction is maintained or even elevated over time. As we implement the program, we, the way we see it rolling out is as follows. We'll uh, focus first on, on the surgeon, who's the primary customer, to make sure that they're satisfied and that they feel comfortable applying this to all of their total knee or total hip patients, not a segment. Secondly, moving it to the surgical team to make sure that they fully understand the benefits of that. Thirdly, we're going to ask our surgeons to survey the patients because we, we've heard from many of our surgeons that the best advocates for this technology is their own patient. So we want to measure that and that leads to the fourth uh, scope of the survey, which is then to take all of that data and make sure that the institution, the hospital, particularly the marketing team and the CFO and the CEO of the hospital, understand that the uh, satisfaction inside and outside the hospital uh, established with this new technology is actually benefiting the hospital and, and, and the, uh, the total joint practice within that hospital. As the survey process then uh, is complete and we have real survey data, my expectation would be that the data would allow us then to take that information and for the most part insert it back into the front end of our whole selling process. And the way we would do it is as follows. Obviously as we're engaging with surgeons initially and the surgeons are interested in the technology, the part of the process would be to work with the surgeon and perhaps the department head, the orthopedic department head, to get us an audience with the CEO, CFO, and the marketing team at the hospital. With this data in hand, we should be able, and the advocacy of the surgeon who wants to sponsor this within that hospital, and the department head who wants to sponsor this in the hospital, we should be able to easily convince the administrators that we've measured the results and we know that like centers who have adopted the technology, 
The survey data suggests that patients are happier, uh, the, the surgical team is happier, and the referrals, the use of the technology, the patients who come to the surgeon and the hospital to enjoy the benefits of the technology are real. Uh, we feel that if we do that, the selling process becomes much easier because we're addressing the total need of the provider, provider in this case being hospital and surgeon. The way I was introduced to all of this was when I interviewed the person who is now our Vice President of Sales and Marketing. He had employed these, these uh, customer-centric programs at his last company. And through the interview, it became apparent to me that this is something that we have to have and I wish we would have had it earlier because we wouldn't have had the poor 30% success rate results we had if we had employed them earlier. So my advice is to anyone who's thinking about embarking with a new technology is install these programs with the right people early on. Uh, they may be uh, muted a bit, little bit or narrowed down to your specific needs, but engage it from the very beginning especially in the healthcare field, because selling is only becoming more complicated. There's more constituents involved. You just don't walk into a hospital these days and introduce a new product. There's a process you have to go through. And by employing these, these, these processes with the early adopters early on, it makes the rest of the, the expansion of your business that much easier.